Hello everybody, it's Scott Omaro. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to reclaim potentially quite a bit of drive space uh, from using Twitch. Now I've been using Twitch and Curse for a number of years now, and I have accumulated tons and tons of these Forge versions that go into the folders. All the way from 172, all the way up, uh, and there's, there's even versions older than that. You know, but, they can take up a lot of space. Each one of these will have a jar in it that's a version of Forge side of it. It's like five megs or so. Okay, but in addition, there is also under the install folder, it puts under your versions folder a bunch of Forge entries. Okay, and these are JSON files. These are small, but it also puts that entry. So after a while, it becomes kind of just even unmanageable to browse around. So if I was to look at, let's say, uh, uh, I can't really do it without considering the instances and my instances folders are huge. Um, but let's suffice it to say it's pretty darn big guys. Okay. It can potentially be, but more so it's just a mess. So we're going to just delete these because it installs them again. All right, and let's just make an example of that just to show you what I mean. Okay, so we're going to create a custom profile and we'll go through and I don't, I didn't get anything hardly for one. I don't think I have anything for 1.9.1, for instance. Okay, so let's just get something for that. Let's just call the profile test, you know, 191. All right, we'll do that to set. My dyslexic typing. Now it's teast. Teast. Okay. Dear God. Is that even nine? Guys, I've got to learn to type better. One, nine, one. Thank you. Okay. Hello. There it is. So see, when I went into this guy, I pulled down a forge version. Okay. You selected it from the list. Current mod loader version. Maybe it didn't even have, maybe 1.9.1 didn't have Forge. Huh. Okay, that's a thing. Yeah, all right, maybe not. So let's try again. Let's try version 110. I don't think I have anything for that. Test 110. Okay, now that did have a Forge. We just saw that right there. Okay, so it was Forge. Um, 2000, 12, 18, 2000. Okay. So let's go out and look at our disc here and let's see if we've got it yet. Install forge 110 is what it would be. 12, 18, 2000 right there. Okay. So see it pulled it down right there. Then it went up here and it made an entry to it, probably. Like we got a new game version. As soon as I did that, it got me a brand new game version right there, 110. And so the game versions, there's the 191. You'll see, I'm not even using that. I could throw that away. Um, let's see what it is. The games are about nine megs, okay? Um, and if you're doing SSD, of course, this is major. All right, so let's look down at uh, Forge. What well, it was twelve two thousand, I think. Twelve. Twelve something two thousand. This one twelve eighteen two thousand. Yeah, today. So it pulled that down. All right. Well, let's just delete those. Let's just delete all of those. Okay, and let me try to make a point with that. So if I go through and I delete that, those two, 110, 2000, here you are. Yeah, all right, so I just deleted them. So what happens now? If I hit play, what happens? It downloads it again. No problem. It only downloads what it needs when it needs it. 
that's one of the things about being online. Uh, and then if you're offline, it, it, this thing should play offline. It actually pulls down more stuff than it actually needs to. But it, it pulls it down. Okay? Great. Not a problem at all. And I do actually believe that we could go through and delete the whole Minecraft version if we wanted to. You know, I could go up here and get rid of 110 entirely. Right? We The forge is back, by the way. Let, let's show that. As soon as I did that, that one, that 10, whatever it was, 12, 18, 2000, right there. There it is. Pulled it back. Okay. But I've just now deleted, and let me empty the trash just to be sure it's not hanging out inside of there and got some reference to it. See, no reference. If it was in use for some reason, Mac wouldn't let you do that. And let's hit play. Now I downloaded 110 profile. Did, didn't need to be out on the disk. Okay, it didn't need it. It it downloaded it as it needed it. Now it takes a little bit longer, maybe. I don't think it's getting anything crazy. But there it is. Okay. Now we got our forge. Now we've got our Minecraft. Guys, you don't need any of that stuff stored on the disk, really. Just clean it out every once in a while is my point. Um, and you'll pr you'll save it quite a bit of drive space. And especially, you know, I delete this profile. I certainly don't need any 110 stuff out there anymore. So I could really safely go through each one of these and, you know, delete. Delete them. That I don't need them. Okay, so... I mean, it makes sense for you to save stuff that you're using recently. Uh, I must have launched something pretty early today. Um, but, you know, you want to go through and keep some recent stuff. But, I mean, I could... As I showed you, it really honestly makes zero difference whatsoever. I could go through and delete pretty much all of these right here. You know, and just get rid of them. Don't need them because it'll pull them down as it needs them. But you want to kind of keep up with what you're doing so you could at least have some kind of correspondence in the other thing, although it doesn't matter. If I just deleted one of these types of profiles and it needed the other one, I believe it would just pull what's missing. Okay, but kind of work systematically to make sure you're pulling you're throwing away both of them you could save yourself a little bit of trouble but anyway guys that's how you can save yourself quite a bit of drive space and i measured it earlier i believe and i was around five gig is what it was taking up it was taking up about five gigs and that's you know quite a bit of accumulation um it, it has to kind of maybe slow down the loading of twitch a little bit and stuff like that you know, but that's something you can definitely do to make your life a little bit easier and cleaner and, you know, feel like you're spiffy and everything's shiny and golden and you have done some busy bee work for the day and you can sleep very soundly. Anyway, I will sleep more soundly if you leave a like on this video, guys, and subscribe to the channel, please. It just takes a little second. Just one little click of the button and you can hit a like and you can put a smile on my face for a couple hours at least. Just ease my mind a little bit and ease yours because you've been nice today, okay, to somebody. You've made somebody's day. Anyway, this is Scott Omano. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.